everybody. Uh, today, day one of electrical, we're going to uh, learn about electrical tools. These are going to be the basic tools that you would need as a residential electrician. Um, so let's get started. These tools right here are your basic electrical tools. Um, they are going to be in every residential and commercial electrician's tool pouch. Uh, but let's go over a few other ones before we get started on these. Um, you're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a pair of channel locks. And of course a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. Um, another uh, screwdriver that I like to use is a, called a 10 in 1. So the next set of tools is, um, is going to be your workhorse or your tool pouch. It is going to be your pair of Lyman's pliers. Lyman's pliers serve many different functions. Um, they're great for cutting cable, okay? but they can also cut individual wires. They also can grip right here. So if you need to uh, do what they call making taps, and you need to tap multiple wires together, you could grab all of these wires right here and tap them together um, using the pliers part of your alignments. Okay. Now these are also called side cutters. So some people call them side cutters, some people call them alignments. So you can make taps just like that with them. Um, but there are many features with your alignments pliers. Okay. Um, the next two types of uh, strippers here. We have a set of just regular wire strippers and then we have a residential set. The residential set has, um, has this top part where it can strip off the sheathing off of cable. Um, and it also has your two holes down here for 14 and 12 gauge wire. Okay. Uh, to use the sheathing strippers, you find this is 14 gauge wire. I know because the, the sheathing is white. I use the top 14 gauge, 14-2. I just slightly push it down, um, don't over, over crimp it, and, um, and cut the sheathing right off. Okay? When you are using the strip apart, okay, for, you, you must know what size wire you're working with. So this is 14 gauge wire, so I will find the 14 solid hole, okay, and I will just pinch down and it'll peel the sheathing right off. Okay? Just like that. Um, when if you're using it for cutters, as you can see, it'll cut the wire nice and easy. Another use for your strippers are bending your hooks. So when you're bending hooks to connect to your terminal screws, you will strip about three quarters of an inch of wire off. You'll grab the wire at the top, all right, and you'll roll it over and bend a nice little hook right there, and that'll fit right over your terminal screw. Okay. So those are your wire strippers. Um, like I said before, the main thing they're used for, they have cutters. Then each little hole um, has a, uh, is dedicated for the gauge of wire. And then it also has almost like some little needle nose pliers on the top side. These little holes on the side, some people like to bend hooks with those. Um, I really don't like to, but you know, to each is their own. There's a million different ways to do it. I don't use them for that. Um, I just find you can bend nice, neat hooks with the top side. Next tool is a pair of diagonal cutters. Um, some people call them dikes. So they have two different names, diagonal cutters and dikes. When you're, they are mainly used for cutting. Um, they are also great for pulling staples out. If you, um, if you drive a staple and need to move it or if you need to take a box off the wall, uh, you can grab the nail of the box or the, grab the staple and pry against the 2 by. Okay, So that's a, another very handy tool. Uh, the last tools. Um, in the field, you're probably going to have a razor blade or an electrician's knife. Okay, um, In the lab setting, in the school setting, you're going to have what they call cable rippers. Okay, Cable rippers help you take the sheathing off of wire. So if I wanted to peel the sheathing off this wire, these cable rippers have a point and these have a little cutter, okay? I'll slide them in, okay? And then I'll take that little point there and I'll stick it down into the sheathing and then it will peel it right off, okay? And as you can see, it just cuts the sheathing and then you can cut the sheathing away using your... your uh, your Lyman's pliers or your strippers, whatever. Um, this one right here 
it works very similar. You slide the wire through, all right? You pinch down with that cutter, all right? And it just cuts the sheathing for you without cutting any wire, all right? So, um, a quick recap here. We got the lineman's pliers, strippers, diagonal cutters or dikes, and then you have the, the cable rippers, okay? Uh, another tool is needle nose pliers. Um, they're good for, you know, that you can bend hooks, you can cut wire. So, those are, you know, your basic electrical spreads. Um, today you're gonna get some valuable practice using these tools. What you're gonna need is the tools that we went over. You're going to need a receptacle, three wire nuts, and a piece of 14 to wire, okay? So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your cable ripper, you're gonna strip off around six inches of wire, or six inches of sheathing off this cable, and that way um, you got plenty of wire to work with. Code also requires you to strip six inches of sheathing off of, um, off of your cable, that way you got plenty to work with inside your box, okay? Um, after you strip the sheathing off, you can cut away the insulation using your lime ends, using your strippers, or I'm using uh, these diagonal cutters. So, I got that tucked away. Now you are going to, uh, you're going to make Taps. Okay, to do that, you need to strip away three quarters of an inch of wire on each piece of wire. Okay, and you're going to cut this wire about eight or nine inches. Okay, below um, below the top part of it. So that is what you should have right now, and you're just going to do that again. Okay. So now I got two cables. All right. Now you're going to do what they call making a jumper. So what you're going to do is you're going to take about six to eight inches of wire here. And these are going to be what you call your jumper wires. Okay. So you are going to do the same thing you did previously. You're going to strip the ends of the wire off. Okay. You're black and your white wire. So right now I got two cables and then my jumper wires. You're gonna do what they call make taps. So you're gonna join light colors with this. And when you do that, you wanna get all three wires the same length, okay? And then you're gonna grab them with your lineman's pliers and you are just gonna tap them together like so. And what I mean by tapping is I'm just twisting them together nice and tight that way they cannot come apart. And then you take a wire nut, twist it on there, and what you have is a nice jumper to work with, okay? You're gonna take that jumper, you're gonna strip about three quarters of an inch off, like so, and you're gonna bend a hook, like I showed you before. You grab it at the top and you just roll it over to make a nice small hook, okay? That hook will attach to the gold screw on your terminal. Now when you're attaching hooks on your terminal, all right, you are going to put them on there clockwise. This screw is gonna tighten up to the right, okay? So when I put that on there, it's just gonna slide over nice and neatly, okay? And this is gonna be hard for me to do because I'm doing it backwards, but or away from me, but I'm gonna tighten this up right here, like so. All right, and it'll give it, and get it as snug as you can get it right there. But I'm having a hard time because I'm working back. We'll finish it up right here, like so. Okay, and on there, you can see that the terminal's on there nice and tight. The insulation is tucked right back behind the screw, and there's no copper um, exposed anywhere on that terminal and it, it has a nice safe um, connection there okay you'll also do that with your white wire your white wire will go to 
your silver screw in your terminal. So you'll put them all three the same length, like so. Last time the hook went underneath this on this white one it's going to go over the top okay because when I tighten this screw down I'm going to be tightening it down this way okay I'm not going to do it away from me this time like I did it last time it's too much I'm tighten that screw down okay and it'll look just like that finally you'll do it with your copper wires Okay, tap them all together. And that will go to your green screw. And make sure it goes on there clockwise, okay? Because when you tighten it up, you want that, that terminal screw to cinch that wire down, okay? So. Just like that, okay. So on your finished project, you should have two cables with a jumper wire coming off each one, and your jumper wire will attach to your receptacle. White will go to silver, gold will go to your green, and then your black wire will go to your um, your gold screw. Okay.